Hey guys, it's Carol Jean Queen here bringing you my first tutorial and my tutorial is going to be on the Dior ad in the August issue of Vogue. And this is Charlize Theron. Theron? Who knows? But anyway, this is her and she has this really gorgeous golden bronzy makeup look um, and it's really natural and pretty for the fall and good for the girl that doesn't want to wear like a ton of makeup or doesn't want to look like she has on a lot of makeup um, so I think it's perfect. Um, so to start off I'm just going to do a quick foundation routine that I do. Um, I'm usually like all moisturized in the morning so what I do is I squirt a little bit of my Almay TLC foundation on the back of my hand. I'm in the shade Naked. Woohoo! <laughs> so, anyway, I put a little bit on my hand and I stipple it on. I already have, like, makeup on from my day at work, but I figure I'll just kind of brush up and put a new layer on for a fresh face. Let's see. And, um, I do this because it applies really evenly to my face using a stippling brush. This is the Sigma F15 brush and I really love it a lot. Um, it gives me really good coverage. And I think this is pretty good. I have little hairs all over my face from the brush. But let me just get those off and we'll be good to go. Alright, I'm good. <laughs> so, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my CoverGirl um, Mineral Powder. It's translucent and it's really good for setting my makeup. So what I'm going to do is give it a little shake. I'm going to shade, I think it's like medium or light medium. I'm just going to kind of like buff that into my face, blend it into my neck, buff it onto my cheeks. That's like mainly where I need most of my foundation is my cheeks. Um, because they get really like oily during the day and that's not a good time. So, and my nose. Alright, I think I am good. <laughs> Except for that awkward spot next to my nose. Alright, good. Next what I'm going to do is instead of using blush, I'm going to use a bronzer because in that ad for Dior, Charlize has on some really pretty um, bronzer, like in the hollows of her cheeks. And she has a lot of it. So I'm going to cake this crap on. I'm going to put it right in the hollows of my cheeks so it really contours my face. I'm going to bring it up to my temples a little bit. And I'm going to go on the other side and do the same thing. So it really contours my face and makes it look like I have incredible cheekbones. I mean, my cheekbones aren't that bad, but they aren't terrible, but they could be better. So I'm going to define the crap out of them and add lots of bronzer to the hollows of my cheeks. Hope you guys can see me this whole time. That would really be awful if I was like out of view of the camera and you guys are like, hey, where are you? So I'm going to put a little bit on my finger and put it on the side of my nose, sides of my nose, however, um, just so that it looks like my nose is contoured like it is in the picture. Okay, next what I'm going to do is prime my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've had this stuff forever. Um, I've actually already primed my eyes because I've already had eyeshadow on throughout the day. But I am going to put another coat on real quick. Just like a light coat. Kind of blend it in. Blend it in. And then I'm going to put a nice coat of eyeshadow 
on my lids using this fluffy brush. It's a large fluff, E50 from Sigma. And I'm going to use this gold shimmery color from this first one. I'm going to use the gold shimmery color from the Gyp Set palette from Victoria's Secret. So I'm going to just sweep that all over my lids all the way up to the brow bone. Just going to really work it in until my eyelids are beautiful and gold. Don't be afraid to, you know, go out of your comfort zone a little bit and, you know, bring it all the way up, all the way over your lids. You can always clean up fallout after. And then to define them, I always use my finger because it's just easier for me. And I'm going to use this second darker color, this darker brown, just to define it. So I'm going to bring it out to the corner like this like that and then bring it in so I have a more angled look to my eyes and it defines it a little bit more see I bring it out, I sweep it out and then I bring it over like this just like that so that it darkens the crease a little bit and then I'm going to take this very last color this kind of like greenish brown I guess and I'm going to use that to darken the crease even a little bit more. I'm just going to work it in with my finger. Now my eye makeup is slightly darker than Charlize's, but I don't know, I kind of like it this way. And then what I'm going to do is take my fluff brush, which still has a little bit of that gold color left on, and I'm just going to blend it so that the lines aren't so harsh from the darker browns. I'm going to blend it so that it looks nice and soft and golden. And for my last touch for the eyeshadow, I'm going to take... Wait a second. I need to find it. I'm going to take my color from my eyeshadow quad from Ulta. It is silk, this first little yellow one, and I'm just going to do a quick highlight to my inner eye to brighten them up a bit and enhance the goldenness, and I'll put a little bit on my brow bones so that those are enhanced a little bit. So, next up is my lashes. They are already curled and I have already added my first favorite mascara of all time, CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. So I have a couple coats of that on from this morning. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of Benefit, they're real, to add some length to my eyelashes. I feel like this doesn't hold a curl quite as well, so that's why I like to put the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume on first because that holds a curl really well and this adds just some really nice definition to the lashes and helps them look a lot longer and darkens them a bit too. In this ad, I mean, Charlize has really natural looking lashes. You could even do a brown mascara, but I just, I've always liked doing black. This look does not require any eyeliner of any sort, but I mean, hey, if you want to throw it in, go ahead. But if you're going for the natural, excuse me, <laughs> the um, natural look, you don't want to use eyeliner because I don't know, I think it takes away from it if you use eyeliner. Okay, so here are the eyes. I think they're really pretty. And for lips, what you want to do is take your favorite nude lipstick, lip gloss, whatever you think is going to look the best. She looks like she has kind of a satin finish lipstick and what I think is really amazing for these lips is either 
a lipstick or like a chapstick with a tint to it. What I recommend is the Revlon Lip Butters, and I have two colors here. One of them is Creamsicle, and one is Creme Brulee. I love Creme Brulee because it's like a light brown nude. It's amazing, and it looks so good with this makeup look. I'm just going to put some on now so you guys can see. But it looks gorgeous. And after that, you can either leave it just like this, or what you can do is add a lip gloss. I'm going to add a lip gloss just because I like it to be slightly lighter than this. This is Revlon's Revlon Color Burst Pink Ice. I've mentioned this in one of my favorites videos before. This is going to add a nice sheen to my lips and make them slightly more nude. I love them. Very pretty. And then my very last thing that I'm going to do is add a little bit of Watts Up from Benefit to my cheeks. Oh my god! I just dropped a piece of it. Whatever. So anyway, the stick looks like this. You can roll it like this. And you just kind of draw it on your cheeks wherever you want highlight, wherever you want a little touch of gold. I'm going to add on a lot because this look looks great with a lot of highlight. And what I'm going to do is just use a concealer brush, large concealer brush from Sigma an F65 and I'm just going to take it and kind of like blend it in so it doesn't look so harsh in the light but it still looks amazing and we are just about finished so this is the completed makeup look um, if you want to see it side by side, here is Charlize, here's me. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but here's the eyes and the cheeks, very contoured. She has the same thing. She has a nude lip. She has gold eyes. Um, what you can do to define this look is maybe color in your eyebrows with some eyeshadow. Sometimes I do that to define them a little bit. Um, but that's something you can do to add to this look. It's all up to you. Um, anyway, this is just my take on the look. I really love it a lot for, you know, a natural look with, you know, still looks really gorgeous and like you put time into it, but I don't know, it's more effortless to me. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good night, and I hope to be making more videos and putting them up soon. So I'll talk to you later. Bye!